Peace and blessings, man. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about um, how to stop negative, evil, ungodly thoughts. This is a video that I wish I knew when I was in my early 20s, uh, back when I was just completely like, separated from God. At least that's what it felt like because I had no knowledge and no wisdom, nothing. And the Bible says that the soul that be without knowledge is not good. So this video is for all y'all who struggle with evil thoughts, ungodly thoughts, negative thoughts. This one's for you. All right. The first thing you want to do, remember, guys, this is a spiritual war for a spiritual fight. Okay. So you want to acknowledge where and how it's coming from. So how can you acknowledge where and how it's coming from when you have a carnal mind? The Bible says a carnal mind is death, but to be spiritually uh, minded is life and peace. Okay. So which means that you got to have the Holy Spirit so it can lead you to all truth. And when you're spiritual, you understand why, you, why? Because you're, you're wondering why, like randomly sitting on the bed, randomly sitting on the couch, or let's say you're about to go to sleep, and you know, all these urges and all these thoughts start to pop up. That is what you call demonic strongholds, all right? And the Bible talks about casting down all strongholds. Ooh, I'm speaking too fast. I think that's, that's the number three, okay? But you have to acknowledge where it's coming from, where and how it's coming from. And now that I gave you the wisdom, now that I gave you the answer is strongholds. You have to acknowledge that, okay? And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Number three, like I said. So this is number one. Once you understand this, like, it's easy to cast it down. This is why wisdom is so important. Okay, wisdom and knowledge. All right, number two is examine yourself. Are you opening any doors? Yes, okay. So the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter, thir uh, chapter 13, verse 5 to 6, it says, examine yourself um, daily. How is Jesus Christ in you except he be reprobates? Okay, so when you examine yourself and you're getting all these evil, ungodly, uh, demonic thoughts, okay? Because best believe, guys, demons, they could plant seeds in people's he in heads, uh, you know, to go to go sin, okay? To go watch corn or to, you know, to do, oh, I'm speaking too fast, speaking too fast, all right? But yes, okay, so if you're opening doors, uh, demonic doors through your witchcraft, through your rebellion, um, through your disobedience, through your willful sin, you're opening all these doors, right? You could expect to get these thoughts. You could expect that. You could expect the strongholds to increase. The more you feed into the sin, the stronger the strongholds increase, okay? This is why it's important to cast it down and fight it off. I know that some of us, we struggle with uh, certain vices, certain sins, but it's important, you know, once you fall, if you do fall into that, to repent instantly because if you keep on feeding it over and over again, it's going to be a lot harder, especially if you're spiritually weak, okay? It's going to be a lot harder to break it off, okay? So, you want to examine yourself. Are you opening any doors, any doors to disobedience or sin through demons can come in and attack you? Okay, that's that's real. I know a lot of people don't believe that, they like laugh and stuff, but that's that's 100 percent real. Okay, certain sins can open up doors for demons to plant seeds in your head to do things. This is a spiritual warfare. You gotta have the armor of God on at all times so you can be watchful. And even it says in 1 Peter chapter 5 to be uh, sober and watchful. Okay, so number three is the third the, the, the third way to cast down. Um, or to put it into evil thoughts is you want to cast it down with prayer and obedience. Sorry, kind of like blanked out because it's behind the, behind the screen, but you want to cast it down with prayer and obedience. Okay, the Bible says that um, the, spirit, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray that you won't enter, enter into temptations. Okay, so you want to be constantly in prayer. Whenever you get those thoughts, like that's the first thing, guys, the first thing you do whenever you get those evil, ungodly, negative thoughts is to pray, pray it off. Okay, ask God whatever whatever stronghold or whatever demon, whatever spirit, uh, principality that's that's working against you to get you to you know get those thoughts. Okay, you got to pray against it. This is our weapons over our warfare. It's not carnal; it's spiritual. Best believe your prayer, you know, a spirit, you know, feeding your spirit prayer is gonna help fight against all those things. Okay, also, it also goes with your obedience. Okay, it talks about that in two Corinthians chapter ten. Verse three to five. I'll leave it all. I'll leave verses all throughout the video. But uh, it talks about you want to cast it down through your obedience to Christ. Okay, so you know being obedient. That's that's true power. Okay, repenting. That's true. People talk about spiritual powers and like that. But if you're not talking about uh, keeping God's commandments, your obedience, repentance, it ain't nothing. Okay, so true spiritual power is keeping those three things. Okay, and having also the fourth one, most importantly, is having faith in Christ. Okay, so number four. Okay, so I told y'all to acknowledge where it's coming from, the strongholds. Okay, I told y'all to examine yourself. Are you opening any doors? Okay, you know, examine yourself. You know, what sins that I'm committing that I don't even know. Because the Bible says if a man be without sin, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. Okay, so 
every single day, you know, or every day it could be your thoughts. Even the Bible says the thoughts of wickedness is sin. Okay, so when you're getting these thoughts, that is sin. Now, even though you're saying, well, that's the, those are not my thoughts, okay? And that's why when the, when the devil is trying to plant seeds in your mind to get these evil thoughts, ungodly thoughts, th things that you will never do, okay? Best believe, guys, you want to cast it down with prayer and fasting and understand that this is a spiritual warfare, okay? Satan is raging war against the children of God, especially against the warriors for Christ, okay? So that's what he's going to do. It is a spiritual warfare. And like I said earlier in the video, you want to have the full armor of God on, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the boots of peace, the belt of truth, okay? So most importantly, the sword of the spirit. So when you're in the spiritual warfare and the devil's attacking you, right? He's attacking with lies, deceit, all those things, right? You attack back through the word, okay? The Bible says that God does not give us a spirit of fear. And how to put an end to evil and ungodly thoughts, what I would also recommend, this is not up there. This is just, if you watch, if you made it this far in this video, this is a bonus, okay? Go on YouTube and uh, listen to Bible verses, Bible scriptures throughout the night. Meditate on the Bible. God says that, you know, the man who meditates in the Bible day and night will be blessed. That's in the book of Psalms, okay? So, that's that's also a thing. This probably could have been number one. Okay, so that's one thing I recommend you guys all do. Whenever these thoughts start to creep in at nighttime or whatever time throughout the day, I would recommend go on YouTube and listen to Bible uh, scriptures. This all this whole bunch of videos on YouTube. I actually made a um, an eight hour video talking about um, uh, it's like an eight hour where you could just, it just loops where Bible verses. I have over like three hundred Bible verses in that video. It's on one of my playlists. But I would also definitely recommend doing that too as well. Just you know. Going on YouTube, meditating on the scriptures, or maybe even read your Bible. Read your Bible, um, listen to the scriptures, whatever that you're in, in, you know, whatever you're trying to do at the moment. Okay, so either or is good. Okay, so always understand that this is spiritual warfare and why that is happening. That's not your thoughts. Whenever you get thoughts to watch corn, okay, you all know what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, things like that. Whenever you have thoughts of sin, okay, that, that's not you. Okay, that's not you. All right, number five is you want to rely on God for answers, okay? And you want to have true faith, okay? So what I mean by relying on God, because when people get these thoughts, right, they want to go to see a, a psychiatrist. They want to go take um, certain, I can't really say too much on these platforms, but they want to go to medicine. So Y'all see what I'm trying to get, okay? And hey, if you have, if you take that, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist. I mean, take whatever you, whatever you feel works with you, okay? But in my, for me, I'm going to rely on the Lord, man. I'm going to rely on God for answers when it comes to, you know, how do I cast down these ungodly thoughts, these, e you know, evil thoughts. And, you know, these are this is a video I wish I would have watched. I wish I would have known when I was in my early 20s or high school years because I was definitely battling this and I had no answers. I didn't know that I had to pray it off. I didn't know about obedience. I didn't know about demons or strongholds, or, you know, opening doors. Uh, having true faith that's going to produce works. I don't know about that type of stuff. So hopefully this video could edify you guys and you guys learn from it. You know, rely on God for answers. And like I said, true faith. The reason why I put true faith because true faith is going to produce works because faith without works is dead. Okay, so this is how to put an end to evil and ungodly thoughts. Hope you guys got edified within this video. If you made this far, don't forget to like the video. And if you like the content and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below on what has helped you out so other people can learn from it as well. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.